So the world is in a panic, and for good reason. There was a global outage that happened just this morning that has many people and their lives completely disrupted. So I want to break down what was happening this morning. We have seen an update or at least a fix, and this looks like it is working. But that is not the issue. The issue is that this was an update from a third-party uh, you know, system from CrowdStrike to Microsoft. And it still caused millions of people to see disruptions. So I want to explain what's going on at this time and why the world is panicked and rightfully so. So make sure you stick around and watch this entire video and I'll explain exactly what is going on. But all I ask is one thing, it takes two seconds, go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates. And now let's begin. So what happened this morning? Well, here's what we know. There was an IT outage that caused the world to panic this morning. It, it pretty much impacted all Microsoft-based computers and they ceased to work. The, the, the lucky thing for me is uh, today I'm not using Microsoft, I'm using Apple. And Apple, or at least Mac and Linux, were not impacted. That was the good news. So here are some of the businesses, some of the industries that felt the effects this morning. And when I say this morning, this happened at about 6.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time this morning on Friday, or Friday, uh, July 19th. So here's what we know. Airlines, this is American Airlines, United Airlines, and Delta all felt the impacts. Hospitals around the nation that use Microsoft felt the impacts. 911 call centers felt the impact banks were all impacted. Now, if you use Microsoft and their Microsoft uh, 365 software, then you would have felt the impact as well because that is where it targeted. Now, keep in mind, this was an update from CrowdStrike, which is a cybersecurity um, technology firm. So this wasn't a, a cyber attack. This was an update from a, from a, a company that was is pretty much meant to prevent cybersecurity issues. That's how serious this is. Okay, keep that in mind. That is how serious this is. Now, let's let's address some of these things. Uh, we do know that CrowdStrike and their CEO said they have uh, identified the problem and they have created a fix. So a fix as of this morning is underway. Uh, it could take a little bit of time for everybody to get uh, kind of see this fix, but good news is they have identified it. The bad news is this doesn't calm the nerves of the world. And in a time when we are hearing threats from, from Russia, from Iran, from China, th this is not good news. This is concerning for the United States because these are the people that continue to threaten us. And the people that continue to threaten us say, oh, well, yeah, you know, obviously we are in their, in their sights, but they're not talking about putting boots on the ground. Russia isn't talking about sending troops over to the United States and attacking us here. China, they're not, they're not discussing that either. What they're discussing is a potential cyber attack. Iran, well, that's completely different. So, this just showed us that the United States is susceptible to a cyber attack. And if we see a cyber attack against us, well, it's going to impact millions. Okay. Let me just explain who, who felt this. Airlines it says American Airlines, United Airlines, Delta. They all had to uh, experience or all had to uh, completely shut down uh, all their flights. Many of them or canceled, not delayed, canceled. It said uh, as of uh, uh, 6.25 a.m. Eastern Standard Time this morning, 540 flights had to be stopped. They had to ask the, F the FAA for complete ground stop on all flights. The flights that were in the air, they were able to continue on to their, their destination, but the concern was that the, the pilots had uh, very little communication 
with the towers. That's an issue. Another one. They say many flights were canceled for the day. Um, now, this wasn't just a small incident. We also saw this from the Berlin airport in Germany. They were impacted. Uh, even the Gatwick airport in the United Kingdom, they were experiencing outages as well. So that's an issue there. Again, it's not just the airports though. The London uh, Stock Exchange, that was hit. They felt the impact. Even Google Cloud felt the impact. Now, I use Google Cloud and I was using, uh, so I experienced this a little bit um, just this morning. Uh, it, my Google account said that I was at a, a 900 and, was it 970% used um, my, my storage. And so I had no additional storage left. So just trying to write up the, uh, you know, the, my notes this morning using Google Cloud. Well, didn't work well. I had a little bit of a, an issue there. So not that I panicked, but again, it doesn't make life easier. Let's see where else. The Department of Justice, the DOJ, that is not somebody we want to see issues whether it's a small issue or a big issue. Department of Justice, we need them working. We need them operational 24 hours a day. They said, and they gave a statement. They say, we, we don't know of any law enforcement activities currently being affected. However, we were hit by this outage. Okay. Hospitals. There's another one. Let's say on this great Friday morning, you were going to go and get an elective surgery. Well, if you were at the hospital or one of the hospitals in let's say Boston's Mass General or Ohio's uh, Cincinnati Children's Hospital, your elective surgery likely was canceled, likely pushed back. And the reason for this is because they were having disruptions. Keep in mind, the issue here is not the disruptions that we face today. The issue is we are going to experience even bigger problems here in the near future if we see this as a as a cyber attack, right? Because if it's not just an update and and you know a company comes in and they know the the previous version worked, now they just got to figure out what the the changes were in their current update. As it's simple, right? It's simple, okay? Any basic IT guy could figure that out. But if it's a cyber attack and there's there's multiple bugs in a system, that's where things get a little more complex, very complicated and take time. Keep in mind when the the uh the car dealerships were feeling the effects of of a you know uh issue, right? Of a cyber attack. Many car dealerships were having to do things by paper for over a week. Think if we had to go back to the way we did things back in the, the 90s when we were flying back then, right? We weren't using computers, right? The technology wasn't the same. Or when we go to a hospital and, and they're trying to give us, uh, show us our charts and we're sharing information with other hospitals and other uh, professionals and other, you know, uh, you know uh, let's say surgeons and stuff like that. It's going to take time. It's not something that, oh, you know, I got you. I'm going to send it over right now. And you see, you see the new chart, you see the new uh, x-rays and all this stuff. It takes time. And again, people don't have time. They, they want things done now. So the reason why the world is panicked and, and I read an article this morning um, or uh, an article, it felt like an article. It was a, a comment where somebody was commenting on an article about this IT outage. And they were saying that this is what we've been worried about. This is what we've been warned about is that we are going to see something very similar to this. Well, things are happening. And here's the, the big concern is that many people are, are really concerned that we are going to experience some type of uh, outage, some type of cyber attack. And it's going to happen sometime around the upcoming election on November 5th we're already seeing some, some increased tensions and some threats. It's the last thing we need is some type of cyber attack that's gonna shut down half the world. So 
again, with the issues uh, surrounding the United States, uh, Russia, China, uh, Iran, this is this is why it's a concern. This is why I bring it to your attention today, is because this this IT um, outage, you know, today, this was a this was an update. It was a planned update. So that's why it has me a little concerned. And for all those people that says that are saying that oh we'll be okay, the United States won't won't be impacted. These cyber attacks, they're small, right? They're they can't do anything. Well, I beg to differ. Now let me know down in the comment section below. Were you impacted at all because of this? I know I was. I have a friend of mine who was flying out of Seattle. He had to sit on the tarmac for it was like an hour, uh, maybe a little bit more than that. Couldn't fly out. Was just sitting there. So I know people that have been impacted, but let me know down in the comment section below. Do you know people that were impacted because of this IT outage? Let me know. But again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.